story of something retrieved from a small bag in a drawer in a home. A small chess piece bought for £5 in 1964, valued at a million pounds today. Because this chess piece has turned out to be medieval and one of the long-lost Lewis chessmen, who are among the biggest attractions at the British Museum in London. Tom Horn is a specialist in Viking archaeology. He's uh, affiliated to Glasgow University. Why are these chess pieces deemed to be so important? They're beautiful objects that have survived for more than 500 years in the ground, and they still look very evocative. They they give us a, a glimpse into medieval faces i think they they look very realistic so i think people get that connection back into the the norse period and of course it's a game we still play today so i think that still resonates with people and they were found almost 200 years ago in scotland on on the isle of lewis and this is more than just a set of 32 pieces isn't it which one would normally think about as a as a chess set but there are nonetheless of a few pieces that are thought to be missing when they were discovered around about 1831, there were 93 pieces, 78, that seemed to have been used for, for chess. And there were 14 items known as table men, which are more like plain round counters, which, which may have been used for the... There's an, an, a Norse Viking game called Hnaffel Taffel as well, which was a, a sort of capture the, the king sort of game. Um, so there were a lot of them perhaps as many as almost four sets that were used for for chess or or, or similar games. Um, But there's also known that there were maybe about five pieces that were missing. So if this is one of them, then it's 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 of huge, huge importance. And there are four that are still potentially missing. You said that these pieces are beautiful. They also give us an insight, and it's a very good point, actually, that they give us an insight into medieval faces. Does it also give us some sort of insight into Scottish... It's a very grand word, but Scottish civilization around that time? Yes, it it does. I mean, at, at that time, when they're deposited, we think late 12th century, early 13th century, so maybe 1150 to 1200 that part of the world is, is part of the Kingdom of Norway. And these pieces are, are considered to have been made perhaps around the region of, of Trondheim in Norway. Other, other sources have been suggested. But it, it shows that Scotland is still very much connected into this, this Nordic Scandinavian world. Uh, the ideal scenario would be, if, if it is to go up for sale, is that it... The, is sold to a museum where a lot of people can access it because it has a remarkable object biography of its recent history, but it's also part of this this much greater set of, of, of gaming pieces, which is of great importance to not only Scotland, but you know, with the, the chess connection too to, to the wider world. Tom Horn on the Lewis Chessman. Now uh, perhaps uh, there's an extra piece to be celebrated. Uh, he's a specialist in Viking archaeology, affiliated to Glasgow University.